If you want to uh, know how to shave the top of the head, stay tuned. We have a couple surprising things for you today. Remember the other day we used this razor? This one here, this razor rock, this beautiful heavy razor, like that. It was a, basically it was an open comb, but I got the new one in today in this box right here. And we're going to do an opening real quick. Show you what's in here. Came packed like this. Put this off to the side. They really wrapped it well. And then they wrapped it again in plastic. And let's take it out of here. And then they wrapped it in a box. Wrap, wrap, wrap. I guess it's Christmas time or something, and that's why they do this. Oh, right on top, look what they gave. They gave five, not four, but five razor blades by Derby. Let's get it out of here. And I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show you what that looks like. I've been waiting for this razor. I've done some, uh, read some reviews on it. They say it's really good for head shaves. And this is the way this razor looks. It weighs four. Uh, what is it? 3.47 ounces. This one weighs 3.27 ounces. Identical handles on them. Just the bull handle. These are really heavy razors. This one, um, look at the top of this. They say it's not aggressive. And we're going to find out. So if you want to know how to shave your head, stay tuned. And then uh, we'll be right back. I am back. Uh, back here at Robin Hood uh, Shaving Artisans. Looking at this... Uh, Razor I'm going to use today by Razor Rock. This is a three piece razor. Let's take it apart here. It's a beautiful razor. Look at that. Look at the combs on that. That ought to keep the, the lather on the head okay. Well, before we do that, let's get a razor blade and uh, put it in there. It's a Nanset. Uh, this blade, uh, I've used them before. They're really good. And uh, this is where they come wrapped. So let's take this out of this, this wrapping here. And I'm going to basically do a comparison. The other razor that I used the other day, the other razor rocker really did a nice job on the head. This is supposed to be even doing better. All right, let me show you this one. Uh, Gillette Nanset, right there. You see that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. All right, let's take this apart. And I'm going to put this razor right in here, the blade rather, and it fits nicely in this, these two little prongs, I don't know if you can, I can hold it now, there you go. That's one of the advantage of having a little overhang, you can hold the top and the blade at the same time. We'll put this in, and we'll put the top, screw the top on, we'll check her out here. It looks good. It looks literally good. Tighten her down nice and tight. And that's the way it looks right there. Pretty good, huh? Heavy razor. Heavier than the other one. This is the other one. They both look about the same on the end, but the heads are a little different. This one here should hold a little bit more of the uh, shaving cream or lotion on the head. All right. Talking about that, uh, I'm going to use the same. To be fair, I'm using the same soap. I'm using the a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Soap. This is the CAD Soap, C-A-D, right here. Oh, it smells really good. And I've already put some in my little bowl. I am going to use a different brush, though. I'm going to use a new one that I got here from this is a DS uh, Cosmetic. It's a synthetic, just a super brush. Somehow I want I wound up getting two of them in the mail. I don't. I think I ordered two by mistake. So, I'll have to find somebody to give one away to. But anyway, this is, since it's synthetic, I'm just going to dip it in the hot water here for a couple minutes. I will be washing my face, or my head rather, with the uh, Brute Soap. And I'll be putting some of my own lotion on that I made, oil rather, combination. And I am going to make a video on this. I had some great requests on it. I just have to get around to it. So, let's begin. What I'll do is I'll wash the head right now. Get my washcloth over here. And we'll be all set. I did remove the clock so it's not going to go tick, tick, tick. It's interesting. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see the difference between this razor and the other one. So stick around. 
until the very end. And we'll see. See what it's going to be like. All right. That's enough of that. I'm going to drip most of the water out. And now we're going to mix it up in here. And I got quite a bit of water in that. I should have wrung the synthetic brush out to, uh, but it'll be all right. These uh, razors that I'm using, the uh, the base is I think is 306, 316 stainless steel, and they're really heavy. Uh, they're just really for the money. You, you, it, I mean, it was like. I think this one I got, I think the last one I bought from Razor Rock was maybe $24, something like that. You can find them a little cheaper, but for that quality of razor, I, I would uh, put that razor against any razor that, way that costs you $100 or more. And if you're a new shaver, oh, this is really useful. Look at that. Soap it up nice. All right, let's put that on there. Kind of a cloudy day today out. It's a good day to shave if you can keep the lather on your head. <laughs> what I like to do is work it in really well into the, the hair. To get it nice and moist, help the slipperiness. And you know what I forgot? I forgot to put the uh, oil on that I said I was going to put on. And we'll put it on the next time. I'm not going to take this off. So, But what I wanted to do is see the comparison from this razor to the other one I used by the same company. That it doesn't have the big uh, slots in the top. That's what they call it. They call it the, I'm looking at the, the Bulldog Handle, and they call it the Razor Rock Slock, S-L-O-C. Slock stands for, uh, oh my goodness, I had it down. Uh, let's see, I gotta, I'll put it, I'll figure it out later. All right. A lot of soap, a lot of flat, nice lather. This soap really lathers up nice. Nice and slippery. All right, we're gonna do three passes. I'm gonna heat the razor up now, a little bit under the water. Again, it's a uh, Nanset, Nasset, Gillette stainless blade. We'll see how we do. We're gonna go from uh, back to front to begin with. Wow, look at the streaks of soap up on the top. If you're new at shaver, if you're new at shaver, if you're a new shaver, I could highly recommend this. The way it feels right now, feels good. My hair is, uh, I think it's about maybe a three or four day growth. And this razor is doing a real nice job. It's not aggressive. I found it difficult sometimes to find a, a, a razor or a blade combination that, that is able to cut the head consistently without really cutting yourself or nicking yourself. I'm going to do this here. Now I'll go down. I'm like, this thing is uh, so heavy. I'm just letting the, uh, look at the way I'm holding. I'm just letting the razor do the work in the blade. So if you're new at shaving, I would not uh, put any pressure on it. Just let the weight of the razor do it. Take this side down a little bit. Pull the ear out. We're gonna go. I see. I went back before, so I'm gonna 
continue and do this here. If you hold the razor more against like this rather than like that, you can really get nice and close without really doing any damage to your skin, which I... And just take your time. Look at that. I love this razor. Highly recommend it. All right, let's go uh, slowly. And I'm tipping it back on it like this so it runs against the flat part because there's so much lather in it. And I'm going to go down now around the back of the ear. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now we got to get the back of the head that I can't see. We have to do that by feel. And I did nick myself up here. And I usually do that. I usually wind up nicking myself somehow, usually just on the last pass. But it's usually also not the fault of the razor, it's the guy holding it. Taking a lot of hair off here. To wash it off. A lot of whiskers here in there. Whiskers. <laughs> Hair. All right. Uh, this is like after the fact, but I'm going to let me put the oil on that I said I was going to put it on. I guess better late than never. I usually uh, have these jars that I ordered. Jars, uh, bottles with the eye droppers. I'll just put that in the hair. This should be done in case you've never shaved before. You should, this is supposed to be done before you put the first pass on, before you put the shaving lather on. So, all right. But still a lot of lather in that. Okay, I'm gonna. I should have uh, taken the bowl that I put the uh, brush in to wet it, wet it a little bit, put hot water in it, and put my uh, soap or my lather in it. Now I just did it now after I made so much noise. Okay. The trick with uh, the head, it's a little more difficult to shave the head than the face because the, uh, I, I guess it's because the skin is tighter on the scalp than on the, the cheeks here. And you got a little bit more bony structure to go over. Okay, uh, let's see what I'm going to do. I'm going to go this way across, across the grain this time. Again, I'm just barely, you can see how I'm holding that razor. I love those tracks. I could draw little smiley faces, a little couple eyes. <laughs> Come on, let's get with it. Okay. Now I got a little secret for you at the end about this razor that I want to share with you. So if you want to stick around and we'll uh, show you what that is. It's got good auto, I can hear it beautifully, the audio 
quality of that razor. Oh, this is, this is, razor is going to go on the top of the list for the head. I tell you, wow. Okay. Back of the head. Have you guys been ex experiencing any new shaves or shaving creams or lotions? Yeah, let's do it this way here. Let's see. I gotta go down, I guess. Now we're gonna go this way. Oh, that's nice. Two passes, I can actually quit after two passes. Alright, still nice and slippery. Just wash it down. This will be the last pass and maybe a cleanup after this. I don't want to keep you guys all day. Okay. Alright. Look at the soap on that. Wow, isn't that nice? Beautiful razor, beautiful brush. Everything we do here at Sherwood Forest, <laughs> says Robin Hood, is beautiful. This is not, shaving is not supposed to be a chore. You're supposed to enjoy it and pamper yourself a little bit. The world is hectic enough. Look at the soap. Wow. You know, I thought I had too much water in this to begin with, but look at this, look at this. That's just what you want. All right, now we're gonna go against the grain or against the hair fibers, wash it out. This is the Razor Rock, S-L-O-C Razor, heavy razor, 4 point, no, 3.47 ounces. Heavy razor. All right, now we're going to go back the other direction. You can still hear a little bit of the, I can feel it. Hair being taken off. Okay. Yeah, if you've had any, uh, oh, there's nothing on this. I can hardly even hear anything. If uh, you've had any good experiences with razors or different razors for head shaving, I'd appreciate it if you put your comments below. And I'll sure respond to them. And if you have any special requests that you would like, as far as, uh, let's say, equipment, that's razors, razor blades, shaving soaps, anything really. Let me know. Leave it in your comments below and I'll uh, sure try to get around to doing a video on it. All right, this is not going to, I'm just going to kind of go over and buff it a little bit. All right, all right, let's go to this little secret I was going to tell you about with this razor. When you have the tops like this, and another one, this is by Phoenix Accoutrements also. Look at the tops, see how nice and open they are? Almost identical. This one's a lot shorter. But the thing you can do with this type of razor, where it has all the slots because it leaves so much soap behind, is that you can buff it. In other words, what you do is you put it flat on the hand like that and you just go back and forth, just tipping it a very little bit. I'm going to get a little bit more soap on it up here and I'll show you what I mean. If you want a, a baby butt, close shave basically. OK. 
Okay. All right, I'm just going to stick it down, and you're just going to kind of go back and forth like this. And you can take off those areas that need uh, a little further attention, let's say. And this razor really lends itself to buffing beautifully. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, I think that'll do it. A little bit more back here yet. All right. Good. Just wash it down with cold water. Got a couple of nicks there. No big deal. It'll close up right away. Everybody gets little cuts. Can't avoid it. All right. And you saw the before, and now you're going to see the after. Okay. I'm going to get my steptic pencil out, and we'll take care of those little uh, areas right away. Got one right here. I saw one over here. One there. Sometimes you got uh, you get little I don't know pimples or sores I don't know whatever you want to call them on the head, and then when you go over it, it kind of op they open up. All right, I'll leave that there for a minute. I still get soap behind my ears. <laughs> I don't know why. All right. Just this over here. Okay, there you have it. Not too bad. Let's review a few things. But before we do, I'm going to put some Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel on it. Uh, witch Hazel is a natural astringent. And I'm just going to pat it on there. Good. Okay, let that cool. And then I have uh, some, let's see, what is this? This is a moisturizing cream, Gold Bond moisturizing cream. And what happened to me was the, uh, the container split open. So I wound up getting some of these jars and put it in the jars. Plus some other things I use the jars for soap, little soap samples that you uh, get. And it's just a beautiful, oh wow, look at that, it feels so good. All right, let's do a review, quick review, and we'll get you on your way. All right. The star of the show today was the Razor Rock SLOC Razor. 3.47 ounces, a lot of slots on top, I love this razor. I'm going to use it on the face, but I, I may use it in my next shave on the face to see how it, how it performs in the face. But on the head, I am really impressed. This is going to be my go-to razor for shaving my head. If anybody else has used this razor, let me know below. And uh, the other day, what I did is I shaved with this one. It's, it doesn't have the same slits on the top. Both of them were really good. This was really good. This one here tops that one. Highly recommend it. Heavy, heavy razor. All right, soap I used was the uh, Phoenix Accoutrements CAD soap. Really good. Those people are really good people out there. I did use some of my own oil. Uh, the second on the pass, second pass, uh, the Nancet blade. Uh, this is the first first use on this blade. Uh, let's see what else. The Thayer's. I think I brought one over that. And the Gold Bond cream that I use, which has no label on it right now because I took it off. And, uh, oh, the last thing I used was a DS Cosmetic, uh, I believe it's Cosmetic, unless I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, DS Cosmetic Soap 
still a lot of lather on it um, synthetic just a super it just works and that's it uh, I hope you have a great day hope you have a lot of good shaves and take a look at some of the other videos that might be here or maybe over there that I'm gonna recommend see you later see you in the next shave